Voyages Turbo, covering Canada's busy Montreal-Toronto corridor in three hours and 59 minutes, and bringing to railway technology the greatest by Montreal Locomotive Works for the United Aircraft Corporation. Five seven-car turbos have been acquired by Canadian National Railways on a lease maintenance basis. The agreement also gives CN an option for outright purchase. The sleek all-aluminum units based on aerospace design and technology represent revolutionary new concepts in railroading. Power dome cars at each end are driven by gas turbine engines operating on diesel fuel. Each dome car has two 400 horsepower engines for power and one to run the electrical systems. Built by United Aircraft of Canada in suburban Montreal, the modified Pratt & Whitney engines are capable of powering the turbo at speeds up to 120 miles an hour. Weight in the turbos has been greatly reduced compared to regular trains and the exterior is streamlined to reduce aerodynamic drag at high speeds. The nose section of the dome car opens to permit linking of two seven-car units for operation as a 14-car turbo. The engine crew occupies a compartment just ahead of the passenger lounge in the front dome car. Lightweight single axles and a unique suspension system enable turbo to take curves 30% faster than regular trains. The turbos are faster, lighter, quieter, and cheaper to run than conventional trains. Because of their superior braking, acceleration, and speed on curves, turbos can substantially reduce the elapsed running time between two points. Although capable of 120 miles an hour, due to existing traffic conditions on the 335-mile Toronto-Montreal run, their top speed will be 95 miles an hour, about the same as the Rapido. A seven-car unit can carry 300 passengers. Because it was entirely new from the rails up, the prototype unit went through an extensive testing period after rolling out of the shop. Days, nights, and weeks of runs went into checking out its speed, ride characteristics, and operating performance. Complex electronic testing equipment was installed in unfinished coaches to monitor every conceivable aspect of operation. And Turbo has lived up to its expectations, rewarding its designers and builders with perfect performance. Turbo is for people and it has services and interiors as revolutionary as its new technical achievements. Months of planning, preparation, and training went into ensuring that passengers would experience the latest in travel comfort. New menus and methods of food preparation were developed. Food is pre-prepared and served by hostesses to club car passengers at their seats coach passengers will be able to purchase food at cafe counters. Moving across the landscape toward a confident future, Turbo represents a new dimension in travel, an exciting step forward in meeting the growing problems of intercity transit. Proof that the success of transportation in Canada lies with those who have the knowledge and imagination to plan for tomorrow, today.